Are you struggling? Don't know where you're going? Have no passion? Feel as though your life is heading towards impending doom? and disparity. Well, this is the video for you. A okay, gang gang. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of my thoughts on things. Today is a special episode guys. Today we're going to be talking about how to find your passion while taking a gap year. Why don't we get right into this? Okay guys, if you're in high school or even college, you might not know what to do with your life, okay? And that's not a problem. You have time to figure it out, but it's nice to know. So passion, very important, very important thing to have in life. I don't know a lot of people who aren't passionate and are happy. I would say it's one of the keys to having a good life. So guys, I took a gap year after high school, as you probably fucking know, because I literally said it like 18 freaking times. And if I hadn't have taken this gap year, my life would be so different. So different. I don't even know what the fuck I'd be doing right now. I'd be lost. Lost. Okay, as you probably are right now, which is why you're watching this video. Let me explain what I did on my gap year, and then we can kind of talk about some strategies, techniques that you could implement should you decide to take one. Ugh. So I graduated high school and decided that I was gonna move out for the entirety of the gap year. So what I did was my dad gave me this old construction trailer as a graduation gift and I turned it into my own little mobile tiny home. And I did this because A, it was fun and also B, I didn't want to pay rent because where I live in Aspen, Colorado, rent is literally so fucking expensive. You have no idea. I refurbished this tiny house and I lived out of it all summer, which was hype because I didn't have to pay rent and I wasn't living at home. And that summer I worked on a ranch, which sucked ass. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but like, I see, I didn't know what I wanted to do after I graduated high school. I was like, mm, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll like to be a rancher. Maybe that's a thing that I would like to do. I found this ranching job on Facebook and I was like, yo, bro, like, can I come work for you? So I went to this interview, got the job, and then started work. It fucking sucked. I had to get up at 6 a.m. every day, drive up to this ranch, and then basically just dig ditches, clean up dog shit. I literally sanded these picnic tables for like three days straight. So that was great. The most valuable thing I learned from this job is that I don't want to be a rancher, which in itself is a good thing to know. So I did that job, saved up like five grand, and then my two friends and I went to Bali, which we had been planning like since spring of senior year, and we went for a month. It was so sick. Fucking dope. Like, go to Bali. We rented this Airbnb for like 20 bucks a night each and it had like a pool and shit. It was like, the thing about Bali is that, and basically all of Southeast Asia, is that it's so inexpensive. So you can go down there with like not a lot of money and still like live like a king low key. And so we had this sick ass Airbnb. It had like a pool and shit. And we would just surf all day and then like eat, hang out, go to the fucking clubs. A gang gang. And you know, we learned a lot. We experienced some culture. We, we learned how to travel by ourselves. Okay, so after I went to Bali, I came home to Aspen and instead of living in my little tiny house, I mean, it's basically just a trailer, but I refer to it as a tiny house. My friend and I, who, who was also taking a gap year, Devin, who was in some of my like OG videos, um, we got an apartment together, which you're probably like, Jack, why would, you, why would you get an apartment if you could live in a trailer for free? And my answer to that is, uh, because living in the trailer kind of sucked. I was all alone and it's just like really small and I wanted to live like in town like in an apartment just like to see what it was like. My friend and I split this apartment. It was like 600 a month each which isn't bad at all. Basically when I got back from Bali I pretty much just straight chilled. I think there was like a period of like two or three weeks before I started my next job. Had nothing to do. Like literally had nothing to do. This time period was like the most influential time period of my life. I, I literally had nothing to do. If you think about it, when in your life do you just have nothing to do? You know, like you always have something, whether it's like school, working, what else would you do? School and working. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> Basically what I did was I would just lock myself in my apartment and literally just fucking binge YouTube for like 18 hours a day. You're gonna be like, dude, what the fuck? Like, that's so unproductive and stupid. Just let me get to my point, okay? I wasn't binging like your typical YouTube videos. Entertainment content, you know? I was binging educational content 
or like motivational content. And at like the end of these two weeks, it's so funny because I was binging YouTube this entire time. And then at the end, I realized like, maybe I should start a YouTube channel. And so that's how this shit started. This video you're watching right now is a product of me sitting in my apartment for 18 hours straight for two weeks to realize that my passion was actually just YouTube. It's funny how things work out like that, you know? Literally, I've learned so much shit from YouTube. It's kind of insane. That's basically my biggest skill is just binging YouTube, but actually learning from it. So it could be different for you. You might not find your passion that way, which leads me to my next point. Skillshare, Udemy, fucking... There's definitely a third one out there. All of these online classes platforms are so fucking useful. You can learn a lot of cool shit on Skillshare, and I think that honestly might be the best way to try out a lot of stuff to find your passion. So what I would do is just go on Skillshare. There's so many classes and stuff to choose from. Just choose something you're like mildly interested in, and then just do it. Just fucking learn it. And you have another skill in your holster of life. <laughs> Video editing, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator CC 2018, learn that shit in Udemy, or Skillshare. All these fucking trades you can learn on the internet, sell that shit, and then what's next? I, you, you never know where you're gonna go after that. Once you have skills, all you need to learn is how to sell those skills, and then you're fucking off to the races, you know? Like, technically right now, I'm selling my skill of making videos to you, in a sense. <coughs> Okay, <laughs> now that my two-week binge is over, I decided, okay, I probably need a job um, just to keep myself busy, you know, I need some income too because I'm starting to run out of money, you know, pay rent, you know, fucking buy food, you know? So I got a job as an apprentice electrician, which was dope. My dad is a contractor, and so I kind of networked that through him. So I started, like, a part-time job. I worked, like, 20 hours a week as an apprentice electrician, and it sucked ass. Once again, I realized that I don't want to be an electrician just as I didn't want to be a rancher, which I have now interpreted as me never wanting to do manual labor again. Basically, I would just wire lights for like eight hours a day, and it wasn't, like, I learned a lot, which is good. I, now I have, like, another skill. So learning a trade, I could still use that if I ever, you know, need something to fall back on. But I'll never be a, an electrician. That's just the bottom line. That's what I learned from that job. In addition to some skills that are sick to know and sick to have, like, now I can, like, fix lights and shit, and I know how, like, houses are wired, which is all fun to know. Fun, fun, fun information to have up in the noggin. So I would recommend learning Learning something like a trade just to see if you, maybe you're into tr maybe you're into manual labor who knows maybe that's your passion I don't think it is because it sucks but maybe that's your thing so try it even if it's just a part-time thing like try it during the other time that I had I was still researching shit I was still youtubing skill sharing I think I was learning to code at this point so I coded some basic apps and stuff which was super fun I wanted to make like a more serious app because I kind of had an app idea but then I found out that I just wanted to make videos and so I started focusing on my time on that. I did this electrician job for like four or five months and then in May my two friends and I who went to Bali with me decided to go to Europe and backpack for two months and so I started frantically saving money for that and networked myself another job which was doing drone video for real estate. This was a sick job. I actually like this one a lot because my dad's a contractor and so I would drive around to all his projects and just take drone videos of the houses and he would send them to like investors and stuff, which was super fun. And honestly, I made some decent money doing that, which I used during my travels in Europe. And so me and my two friends went to Europe for two months, ripped around on the Eurail. It was hype, 10 out of 10 recommend doing that. The thing about Europe is that you need a lot more money because it's way more expensive over there than Southeast Asia. But I highly recommend going. You see all the stuff that you kind of like have to see, like the fucking Leaning Tower, the goddamn Statue of David, everything like that, beautiful shit, you know? Sick ass shit. After that, I came home. It was July. I lived in my trailer for a few months until I left for college, which I am now attending. So guys, in conclusion, I think that a gap year is one of the best ways to figure out what you want to do in life. You need to know what you want in order to pursue that thing. So if you're considering taking a gap year, just do it. Just fucking do it, okay? You're not gonna not want to go back to college. That's bullshit. You're not not gonna like be unsuccessful because you're being quote unquote what society views as lazy. That's all bullshit. Unless you know what you want to do and you just want to go to university and get it over with, but at the same time, you might not know what you want to do even if you think you do. So guys, I guess that about wraps things up. That's pretty much all I have to say on this topic. Good luck on your freaking journey. 
Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, fucking comment that shit. Answering your questions is the highlight of my day. Like this video if it gave you some value, I guess. Or fucking don't. Or do. This has been my thoughts on Gap Year. Okay, bye.